Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's Vintage Thursday video we're going to look at our two rarest tractors we have Ferguson. in the collection, both Fergusons, well one is a Ford Ferguson, the other one is a, a Ferguson. So, Father Phil is here to talk about because at the end of the day, yeah, what's, what's the saying, at the end of the day, I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Father Phil knows a heck of a lot more you're about them than you're I do. Off, man, you're off, man. Right. You're after a hot bun as well. I'm, so. I'm yes. Um, I've been away the last three days. And Gallivanting all around Europe. Huh? Yeah. And um, yeah, there'll be a video on, on that coming up soon. But yeah, I just didn't have anything for Thursday. So we're back on Vintage Thursdays and we're going to look at these tractors. Which I know we gave a quick brief look at in the for the 50,000 subscriber special machinery or tractor tour. But Father Phil's going to give a detailed breakdown of the pair of them and maybe we might look at the trash and the two combines as well. But anyways, what is the first tractor in front of us? That there is a Ferguson TE20 with a Continental engine. Yes. So that was before they got their Perkins. own engine. No, 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 standard. Oh. Before the standard motor company got their own engine put together, yeah. they imported the engines direct out of America. Yeah. And they put them into the first of the 20s. Yeah. I think it's a Z, a Z. Well, now you have me. You, have, you, you really landed this one on me in short notice. It's a Continental Z one twenty engine. Yeah. I think um, it's a slightly different. It's easy to identify because there's a a tin sump on it. You can't really see much. You put on your light there. Tin sump, and there's two rods run up along the bottom, and the distributor is in a different position. Oh, I see. See the thing there. Yeah, I can see the, the two oil, rods. The there. oil filler is different than it. Yeah. Um, it's just a different layout, layout of, an of, an engine. of an engine. Um, it's a continental, continental engine. Yeah. There was a crank in the exhaust. Right. So when the standard motor company engine came out, the exhaust came straight down off the manifold. Yeah. But on the continental engines, there was a little twist or a crank in it. Yeah. Um, other than that, basically, your Ferguson 20. That one is very old. No serial number, so we can't be sure... Oh, there's no number on it. No, there's no serial number on it. The badge has gone off. That's why I have it. Yeah. Because we bought that off a man in Glasgow. Yeah. In in Scotland, and um, he advertised it, and he was selling it, running perfect. Shouldn't be sitting there, but it's in out of the wet. Yeah, that's the main thing. Um, it, it it was in a hotel in he he bought it out of a hotel in Glasgow. He was doing the cutting the grass or whatever. Yeah. And he had it for about ten years. But the aluminium badge was lying outside all its life. Yeah. And the aluminium badge at the steering wheel, where the serial number should be, yeah. is gone. Now, someone told me there is more stamps, stamps on them somewhere, but I never was able to locate it. And maybe well, someone there's, there's, there's a stamp on it oh, there. There's a stamp on the engine, engine alright. Yeah. yeah, so maybe we'll be able to get a date on it from there. It's, he's one of the very early 20s. It's probably in 47, I'd say. Yeah. I doubt it's in 46, because the only made it was about 346. Yeah. Um, all is working perfect. It starts on the cranking handle. It's oh, it, so there's no starter. Oh no, the starter's on it. On it, yeah. But you, you, you put the battery into that and put on the cranking handle. One turn where she went. No, it's probably ten years since it's been started. It's a, it's a long time in there. Um, uh, downswept exhaust on it. Downswept exhaust on it. So just um, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it's the exhaust comes out, comes down, and, and comes back. That's the way comes all the back. Were at the start. Uh, it's on the far side there, so you can't just see it. It's just the other side of that. Uh, yeah, look at basic little lovely little run around. I put new tires on it. The tires was rotten on the back of it when we yeah. got it. I put two new tires on it at the time. We never really done anything with it. If I can get to that shed, oh, if I can only get back to that <laughs> workshop, it's having me banned out of it with all the things that's going on. It's part uh, of the collection. But anyways, on to the next, the next tractor, the Ford Ferguson. Ford Ferguson. So this is where the collaboration between after the David, after Ferguson, Ferguson, Ferguson fell out, Brown fell out with David Brown. He got into partnership with uh, Henry Ford, and it was the Ferguson system on a Ford built. So the Ferguson, uh, there's three stuff, there's stuff in the way there, but there's three point linkage on it. Right. So you can see the three point linkage on it there. So that's that's what made the the Ford Ferguson. Ford Ferguson, and that was sold to us as a two N. Yeah. Which would have been built around 1942. Yeah. Uh, would have had been during the war, so she would have been on steel wheels. Yeah, we know that because the wheels that's on it are just not the same. We we actually had a, a Ford Ferguson here back in the day. My father had one, and they're just slightly different and stamped. So we think they were put on it 
after, after and the steel wheels were taken off. Yeah. Uh, that possibly came out of France um, just with the way the lights and things was put on it. Um, the lad we bought it off told me he reckoned it come off the continent. Yeah. Um, running perfectly, but the water pump is leaking. Was it running? Yes, yeah, running. Oh, yeah, oh. it's running perfectly. Uh, bad design in ways because the water pump, the distributor for the spark is directly under the water pump. Oh, so when the water pump leaks, it so the water upsets pump leaks, the spark. You lose your spark. Um, so we brought it to a few shows. It's a side valve engine now. But see, with the show the, show the well, top, you can't. Oh, you can't. Oh, it, can, doesn't, oh, it doesn't open. See the top. It's a, it's a flat, flat head. Yeah. The valves are in the, in the block rather yeah. than in the head, where the Ferguson 20 had the valves in the head and an overhead cam. Yeah. Um, that runs really well, but we just never could put water into it because the water pump needs to be sorted. I actually have a water pump got for it. Yeah. And we have a new grill got for it and bits and pieces. Well, what's uh, the bit that's missing off of? Which? The glass ball. Yeah, there's the, the, we put, I back like the tamp, that was missing. There's that where Father Phil's point and there should have been a glass bowl. There's a glass bowl and a little bracket and mysteriously it disappeared here over the shed. Yeah. Could never understand how that happened, but anyway. Um yeah, lovely old thing. Look at Pala time again. Yeah, that's what yeah. all all boils down it's, to but it's, it's they haven't they're they're dusty. Yeah. But they're inside out with the weather. They were rusty when we got them. Yeah. They haven't changed. That sort of look you can't buy. Yeah. If they were running nicely. Yeah. I don't know would I ever paint them. Yeah. Um, look at that one probably was painted at some point. Oh, that one was painted uh, uh, multiple times because it was red at some stage. Yeah, you can see so you can see some there's of the of the, red, the red the red undertone. History. There's a lot of history there under the paint now. Yeah. There's a lot of history under the paint in that job. Uh, it could have been orange. I don't know what. And see the the red specks on it. But then that tractor is coming nearly what. 80. Seven, nearly 80 years yeah. of age. 70 years of age. That, if that's 1942, that's an 80 year old tractor. That tractor's actually 80 year old. Yeah. Yeah, this year. Yeah. Well, it was sold to us as a 2N. As a 2N. Yeah, yeah. so that would mean that it was it was manufactured in 42. Yeah. So yeah, that's an 80 year old tractor. 80 year old tractor. Pity we can't just jump over the, the plywood and start them, but... Well, they're kind of... Um, Serving a purpose there because they're yeah they're, they're pro pro propping uh, propping until we get something maybe a bit more extravagant done in here. But yeah, you want to continue what you're at there? Um, that's the oldest combine we have. Massey Harris 780. That's a Massey Harris 780. Just walk up around it. Six cylinder, six cylinder petrol. With a ten foot header on it. Actually, a ten foot head. Yes. Yeah. A ten foot head. Um, left it a bit awkward for transportation. Um, anyone that's into their combines would easily know by looking at it from here you know it's a petrol engine because it's a big fan big yeah fan for blowing the yeah. dirt off there really off the engine yeah the diesels only had a small fan yeah she's the big fan Um no clutch pedal right she's on two lever system on the clutch it was before the clutch pedal had been conjured up yeah but she has hydraulic lift on the head yeah I've seen some of them lifting with a starter motor yeah where the hydraulics was only so it was, it was it was an electric motor that electric that motor, cranked it she up. Has, she has hydraulic lift. Yeah. Now the man I bought it off in Pembrokeshire, put uh, she is like she is actually a tanker. Yeah. And I think she was always a tanker, but he couldn't get the sample clean off it the first year he used it back in the sixties, and he decided to put a bagging cleaner on it. On it. I'll go around the other side. <laughs> so then this is the bagger unit. <laughs> So that would have been sitting there anyway, and it yeah. would have been a bag and platform here. To put, fill in bags. Fill in the bags. But um, she, by the way, the tank is on it, it was always a uh, tanker unit. Tanker. And we had a cutting, and there is a video of it working. Yeah, and you can probably slip in a little footage of it. Yeah. Um, Make it live his life of. Huh? It, it runs really well. The engine, the, the, that engine, oh, I could listen to that engine run all it's day. Something, long. something different. It's like a racing car. Yeah. It's vroom, real sweet, new age, six cylinder uh, Austin um, engine. Six cylinder um, and petrol engine. It needs to be fully taken asunder and refurbished. The other one we bought in Tipperary, it's the exact same as what I remember sitting on the toolbox. Yeah. It's the very same as the one my father bought in Dunard in Wicklow. It was scrapped. Yeah. I bought it just because it was the same. It 
more than likely was a TVO. Yeah. Bagger. Yeah. Because the do you, want, do you want to go around to it? Enjoying yourself, Viv? Let's go for coffee, Dave. What do you think of that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Warm us up. Poor Fido. Um, this one, I think, was originally a bagger. Yeah. Because the tank didn't have any of the massive sticker thing on it. Yeah. And it was made with galvanized. Yes. You can see it on the bottom there. The paint fell off it. Yeah. Typically, they weren't. Yeah. Um, the engine is a 270D Perkins. Yeah. Um, there's a few different modifications on that combine that we didn't have, so I think it was one that was brought in as a bagger. Yeah. TVO and then we'll change because she's two tanks. Yeah, I a lot can of them, see. All of them had that. Yeah. Now, but she has the two tanks and it's all plumbed up for the two tanks. Yeah. The small tank which would have been petrol and the larger a reserve tank for the diesel yeah and um, reasonable enough condition does Never actually don't have to wait it doesn't run tank. or anything it it would run if we had time to put it together yeah i intend to fully restore that company i intend to actually fully restore the two of them fully painted yeah. the whole works when i can get out of this yard <laughs> uh, so it's a full winter's work to redo one yeah. of them starting in october finishing in march out the door six months yeah we'll do one of those combines. and then probably the hardest project of all of them oh that'll never be done oh it'll get done sometime yeah well you can do it <laughs> that belonged to your grandfather um belonged to your great grandfather yes temporary. and it was in a shed and we took it out and brought it up here because it was being scrapped yeah and i didn't like to see it scrapped it's been sitting there a long time taking up a good corner in my shed Good story with the 780, special. The longest memory I have, it probably was four. Yeah. And my father went to uh, Donard in Wicklow, which yeah. was a nice drive from here now. It had been nearly three hours at that time in the car. And before he got there, the clutch went in the car. Yeah. And he had to ring his brother. What was the car? Uh, Nothing. I'd say it was an either a 13, 1100 or a 1300. I think yeah. it was the green 1300 that had. So the green. It was actually a Woolsey 1300 they had, or an either Nostin 1100, but I'm not sure it was the Woolsey. Yeah. Uh, the clutch went in it. Yeah. And he had to ring his brother, and he had a uh, hillman hunter. Yeah. And he came down, picked us up, went and looked at the combine, and then towed us home. Yeah. And my father bought the combine in Donard, in Wicklow. Um, well, it must have been in December. And in January, the sprockets was gone for driving her. Yeah. So they ordered two new sprockets and they got them. And it was himself and older brothers of mine, I was only four, Yeah. went down to Wicklow, took off the wheels, put on the sprockets, put back on the chains and headed for Longford. Drove it home. Two days. Two days to drive home the two combine. Two days to drive the combine home. He from was Wicklow back to Longford. He at the time, I think, a couple of hundred pound. Yeah. Which was probably nearly the price of the combine. Yeah. And he had in the combine. Yeah. And he took in from the month of February, I think he drove it to somewhere in Port Arlington the first day. Yeah. And they come home and they went back down the next day and he drove it six miles an hour. Didn't someone pass him out uh, on a bike? A woman passed him out going down the hill on a bicycle. Yeah. And when he came to the next hill, he passed her out because she had got off and she started to walk. Yeah. <laughs> Just funny story. The, yeah, our two rarest tractors in our collection our Continental Engine Ferguson 20 and our 1942 Ferguson, Ford Ferguson. Huh? Continental. Continental Engine. Continental. I said Continental Engine. And our Ford Ferguson 2 and 1942. 80 year old tractor. And then also the two combines and double trasher, which, um, yeah. You could be a long time waiting to see anything done with that, except for moving it out of the shed. 1959. By the serial number, yeah. checked out, done, 100% 59. Yeah. And that one is somewhere around 53. Yeah. So Thank that you. combine is almost 70. Se 70. Yeah. She'll be 70 years old next year. Yeah. Perfect conditions. But anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. A lovely hot bun for you all and back into Vintage Thursday. And I have some good footage to come on what I was at the, while I was away. And not only that, but it's now October, the slurry is all but done, 
and the days are getting shorter so you know what that means that means we'll be back in the workshop i think we're actually starting tonight so the 12 you, know, you can be looking forward to a few 1200 videos i think first thing for the 1200 is take the engine out yeah and the tires came for the and we have tires for it so yes that's all Hello. to look forward to anyways we're gonna leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel Hello. videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me Hello. good luck <laughs>